Look, Justice Wiggins, he has got every right. If he wants to campaign for the legislature, if he wants to run for governor, and if he wants to pursue a liberal agenda, he's got every right to do that. He doesn't have the right. He doesn't have the right to usurp the powers of the office of governor and the legislature and create that law from the bench. Justice Wiggins did not go outside of their separation of powers. The truth of the matter is, they did what the separation of powers calls for, ruling on the legality of legislation. Our judges and justices take an oath when they're sworn in to uphold and defend the Constitution of the state of Iowa. And that is precisely what they did here. They did not legislate from the bench. They applied the Equal Protection Clause of the Iowa Constitution. Washington politics and out-of-state money are being used to attack Iowa's justices and judges. Former Iowa House Speaker Republican Christopher Rance does not always agree with court decisions, but he wants justice in Iowa to remain fair and impartial. A yes vote to retain Justice Wiggins and Iowa's other judges is a vote to keep Iowa's courts impartial and free from politics. Turn over your ballot. Vote yes for all Iowa justices and judges. This message sponsored by the Iowa State Bar Association. Iowans voted to retain all 70 judges and four Iowa Supreme Court justices last night. <laughs> <laughs> 